Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Couch Crocheter. We're at episode 67. 2020 crochet along, towel topper, and hot pad. Part 1. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Couch Crocheter. We're at episode 67. Yes, 67. <laughs> I just wanted to do an end of the year wrap up. I'm going to do this in three parts of the crochet along that I've been doing. Um, I've been doing since I think like March I started. Um, Pamela's Adoring Crochets Crochet Along for 2020, which was a, um, she did four uh, towel toppers. I'm sorry, it's warm in here. I have the window open. Um, We'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> so she did a towel topper for each month and she did four sets um, this way at the end of the year, which is right now, she would have four full sets of towel toppers to give away to friends and family or whatnot. So I thought um, it would be an awesome idea to do it. And then I wanted to add another step and do a hot pad that matched for every month. So right now I'm going to go over January, February, March, and April. Um, so let's get started. So January's um, hot pad I got from Bag O' Day. And I'll insert a picture of here of them on the back of the couch all finished. Um, meaning I did all the buttons. I tucked everything in. I put everything together. I have felted the ones that um, I'm showcasing today, the ones that needed felting for the back, um, just to make them thicker. I am happy with the way that they turned out. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing this again this coming year. Um, I did find it enjoyable, and I am glad that I did it, but I'm also glad that um, it's almost over. I still have um, a lot more backing to put on the um the uh hot pads okay so let's get started with january and guys i'm reading it off of my whiteboard so don't mind me um january's i got this idea from crystal at bag o day and it's called dish soap dress hot pad um so i guess one of them you make is a dish dish soap dress and the other one is a hot pad so I chose this and the colors that I chose were um, off white and dark blue. I was looking for more of a classic um, old time New Year's Eve color. Um, I'm going to see if I have it written down in my book here. I meant to do that before I started just to go over some of the details with you. But I don't think I started this yet. I didn't. Um, the yarn that I used was, um, Premier's Just Cotton in Off-White and Yarn Art um, Navy. Now the Yarn Art Navy is a thinner, so I doubled that up. Um, so this is what this one turned out to look like. And then I was searching through, and this was the first tea towel um, topper that I had made. And I think that they are all the same. Nope, there's one that's different. Um, and I found this pattern from uh, Nastasia. Um, uh, something wolf. Her name is something wolf. And I forget, I'm sorry, I forget her first name, but her channel name is Nastasia. Um, and it's called Towel Topper How to Crochet Towel Topper with Hidden Ring. So here this one is, and it does have a hidden ring. Now I chose this one because of the drapiness of this dress part. I thought matched nicely with this drapiness of this dress part. Um, now these ones, the buttons, I used three of the buttons from, here it is. 
I got the buttons from Buttons Galore and More. And this one is the Christmas Collection Snow Day. And these came, I ordered them online from New Jersey. Um, so three of them, I used the Snowball. And then they only had three Snowballs and the Snowflakes didn't work. And the other ones really didn't match. So I went in my button collection and I found this one. I thought that would work. So that's the only one that's an oddball with the button. So January is completely complete. So then February. February's hot pad I also got. Uh, oh, Donna Wolf. That's her name, Donna Wolf. Um, it's Nastasia Donna Wolf. How to crochet light-hearted dishcloth for Valentine's Day. And I'll insert a picture here on the back of the couch of what they look like. And then I'll show you here. This is one that I did a felt backing on just because I wanted a little bit more heat resistant. This one has black felt backing. This one um, looks like this and has red. And then I did another red and then one with a white backing. So that was the um, towel topper. And I used, um, let me see if I remember, uh, lilies and, no, peaches and cream for one of them, which was red, and then uh, sugar and cream for the other three, which were also color red. And the white, I do believe, was um, non-label that I'd gotten from Akari, but I do believe it's also um, either lilies and cream or sugar and cream. So then for the um, tail topper, the pattern that I did was Amanda Crochet, that's who did it, uh, Crochet Tail Topper Easy Crochet Pattern Tutorial. So here's what this one looks like, and these ones all don't match either. So here's an all white one. Uh, here's another all white one where I, you know, and then here's a red and white one because I thought I would run out of the white or the red, I forget which color. I thought I would run out of, I think I thought I would run out of red. Um, and these buttons are hearts. And I got these buttons from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Um, so yeah, that's that. So then uh, would be March which I wanted to concentrate on um, St. Patty's Day for March. I am Irish, so I felt like I had to do St. Patty's Day and Irish stuff. So this thing came from two different patterns. The uh, rainbow part came from Sarah Satch, and it is called uh, Rainbow of Hope Hot Pad. Um, and I don't remember all the colors that I used for this. But the clouds, oh, look what I forgot, guys. One end I forgot to tuck in. I'm going to have to go in and take care of him. Because I thought they were all tucked in. But I found one guy hanging out. <laughs> <coughs> um, <clears throat> the cloud was from um, Bag o Day, Crystal from Bag o Day. Um, she's the one I did the cloud. So then I did the rainbow. Um, in a circle and you fold it in half and then you uh, single crochet the stitches to end it and then I attached the um, cloud all on my own. So that one I felt like it was thick enough that I didn't need to do a backing for. And then the um, tail topper that I did was um, I believe Jada, yes, um, it is a tail topper by Jada in Stitches. It's called the Tea Towel Topper uh, Moss Stitch. So here's one in green. It's two in green. Three in green. And then the fourth one is green with a white ring because I ran out of the green. Now on this one, as you could see, I may, I used glittery shamrocks. 
and that those buttons came from the same place um buttons galore and more and this collection is called the saint patrick's day collection glitter shamrocks and again i ordered these from this company a long time ago and i believe that they are based out of new jersey so that was march so now we will go into april uh, April's pattern, I used the uh, pot holder I used for Moogly blog. Um, it is called Easter Egg Dish Towel. Um, here it is. Here's one with a purple back. And then one with a blue back. So I have two purple backs and two blue backs, which I thought they looked really good um, with the dark blue um, in the background. And then I thought it really looked good here too with the purple in the background. Then the uh, tail topper that I used was the same as last month's, which was um, Jada in Stitches Tail Topper Moss Stitch. And I got four of those. And guys, this is the yarn that stinks. Oh, and I washed these and it still stinks a little bit. Now I didn't wash them in any kind of soap or anything. I just doused them in water and then laid them flat to dry in hopes that it would take care of the smell, but apparently it didn't. I think it stinks. The next person might think it smells wonderful. This was sugar and cream scents. And the color was called uh, Flower de Lavenda. I don't know, but that's what I have left. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Because this one really, really stinks. That one doesn't stink so much. That one doesn't stink so much. Maybe I'm getting the smell off of this because I'm smelling these and they don't smell. So maybe I'm getting the stink off of this. Oof. Oh, it stinks. <coughs> so this was one that I needed a button for. So again, I got it from Buttons Galore and More and this one is called the Easter Collection Egg Hunt. So guys, those are the four that I got done tonight, um, and that is as far as I got. Um, I'm going to continue to work to see how far I get. Now, I know over the next three days, I don't think I'll be up here to shoot any kind of video, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can done tonight, and then Sunday night, um, I'm going to come in again when Matt comes to work for third shift, since I'm up anyway, and finish up what I can't finish up tonight, and then I will record that next video Sunday night and then I'll be posted by Monday morning. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to finish my video off by a reading by Melody B. Tai, a journey to the heart, daily meditations to the fat, to the path of freeing your soul. And I do believe that we are on January 21st. Discover your own truth. No truth is ours until we make it our own. All the truths in the world don't matter unless and until we discover them to be true for ourselves. That's what the journey is about. An insight, a lesson, a new, brief, a new belief is at the end of each adventure. Whether that adventure happens in a moment, an hour, a day, or a year. This lesson doesn't come from books, although books might help along the way. It doesn't come from classes or lectures or well-meaning friends. The lessons we're seeking comes from within inside us, from our hearts, from our deep abiding connection to consciousness and the truth. 
it springs quietly from within as we notice one day that we believe something new, something different, something more free, more fun, and more life enhancing than what we believed before. For a moment, we, wait, we may turn back and say, why didn't I know that? Why didn't I see that before? Then we step, then we step back on our path, laugh, and go on our way understanding that this is why we are really here. Not to know everything in advance, but to allow ourselves to go freely through all the lessons that teach us all that we are here to learn. You are on a journey of discovery. Find out what's true for you. Remember, a truth isn't yours until it rings true for you. Guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be safe and stay groovy. Bye.